class, this is Mrs. Basso here. Now that you're done listening to the story, Mama, is it summer yet? Please take out your Wonders Your Turn practice book and please turn to page 153, 153. And it looks like this. As soon as you're on the page, please write your name on top. I will write my name while you write yours. Mrs. Basso. Okay, so now it's time to see what they want us to do in this worksheet. And it says comprehension, key details. So we're going to be looking at key details, pictures, words, different things that give us key details, that give us all the, um, the little um, extra things that we need to know about the story and they give us clues. So it says for number one, point at number one and look at the two pictures for number one. And it says circle the picture that shows what happened first? So what happened first in the story? What happened in the beginning? Now, was there a picture of shoes in the beginning? Or was there a little boy looking out the window in the beginning? Now, if you don't remember, guess what? We could go back and look at the story. I'm going to go back and look at the first pages and see what happened in the beginning of our story. Well, let's take a look. They're looking out the window in the beginning of the story and the little boy is saying, Mama, is it summer yet? So it is not the first picture. It is the second picture and the boy is looking out the window. So circle that picture. And do you remember if it was summer at the beginning of the story? Great job. Yeah, it was not summer at the beginning. Okay, so now let's take a look at Number two, let's look at the pictures for number two. And it says, circle the picture that shows what happened next. What happened next? What happened afterwards, after the beginning? Were there um, ducks with, um, were there, was there a duck with little ducklings? Or was, or was there a pool out? Well, how do we find out what happened next? Let's take a look at the pictures. So during the pictures, it was cold, it was winter time, and then it looks like it started um, to become springtime. Uh, animals were making nests, they were planting things, and uh, it started getting windy, and the birds were flying around. And then they went to the, um, to the pond and saw or the lake or the river and they saw the duck with her duckling so that is one of the things that happened let uh next we didn't did not see the pool yet we saw the duck with the her ducklings that had hatched so let's go ahead and circle that picture next and then it says number three for number three we have lines so that means we're going to be writing a sentence and it says Write about what happened last in the story. So let's think about what happened last. So in the whole story, the whole time, the little boy kept asking, is it summer yet? Is it summer yet? And it was not, not until the very, very end. What finally happened in the end of the story? It says, Mama, is it summer now? And she says, yes, little one, it's summer now. And after the whole year of waiting for the summer, it was finally summertime. So we can say, last it was summer. And we could say it excited and even add an exclamation point. So let's go ahead and write that because that is what happened last. We are going to start with the transition word and we're gonna say last. So we're gonna start with a capital letter. We're gonna start with an L. Last. Last. T. Good job. Some of you, I noticed, are able to do this before I even say it. So remember, you are able to sound out words now. So you can sound out a lot of these things on your own too. I'm very proud of you. Last. Now, this is, in trend, this is a transition. Uh, we're using this in the beginning of our sentence, so we're gonna add something different here. 
So it's going to look like a period with a little tail, and it's called a comma. And the comma is going to help it where we take a, we breathe in between our sentence. So we're gonna say, last. So it looks like a period on the floor next to the T with the little tail. Last, it was summer. So this kind of helps us pause, take a deep breath, and then we finish our sentence. So last, it was summer. So we're gonna look, put your space. So you're gonna need your spacer or your finger or something that you're gonna have to put a space here. And we're, gonna, we're going to write the word it. It. An I, it. And a T. Last, it was. Now was is a big kid word. You're going to learn that later on. It's a sight word that you're going to learn, a rainbow word that you're going to learn. Was, wuh, Make sure you move over your spacer. Make some space, W, w. And it doesn't exactly sound the way uh, that it's spelled. It's actually an A, was. Last it was, it was what? Last it was summer. And the word summer is right here, all over our page, except for we are not going to put all capital letters. We're going to put lowercase. Last it was summer. So move your spacer over. If you need to go down to the next line, you can, or maybe you already did. So summer, but make sure there's space between was and summer. S, lowercase, make sure it's under the grass line. S, a, a U, some M. And summer, as you can see here, has two M's. Er, and it has one of those bossy R's. It's an E and an R, it says er. Last, it was summer. We're excited about it because the boy was so excited. He was waiting for that all year. Let's put an exclamation point. Instead of just a period, it's a line down with then the dot. And when we reread it, let's go ahead and put our reading dots. Last, it was summer. Last, it was summer. Well, that's it, friends. Thank you so much for listening to the story and paying attention and writing so beautifully. We can't wait to see your work. We're looking for a capital letter only at the beginning, space in between words, and an ending. Make sure all your words are, are written so nicely, just like you learned all year. And we can't wait to see your work. And I will work again with you later. Bye.